Welcome free tutorial lovers. Today we will be making this really beautiful real like grass with real like animation. To begin with just delete this cube. We can head to the geometry node editor and here we can click on new. This selected we can delete the original cube here. Instead we will use a grid so that we can adjust the size later. For now I will set it to 5. Now let's plant some seed. We will need distribute points on faces and we have to join it back again to the output using a join geometry so that we can see both our seeds and the grid. Now it's time to grow these seeds. To grow them we'll use instance on points. I'll use a node called quadratic base here. This will be perfect. I connect it to our instances. Now they will look really bizarre. So first of all we'll set the start to 0 and for the end we'll change the x value to 0 and end c value to something 1 for now. Now that they have a perfect height we have to adjust the middle part. First of all we'll move the end part to the y axis like that and then we'll move our middle part as well that it forms like a grass. Now it looks like a grass which has bent it. Now the next step would be adding some kind of motions to them. Add that that is really simple. What we will do is use a node called set position. To make that work what we'll do is use a noise texture to drive that wiggle effect. We want that wiggle effect only on a particular direction. So for example if you want this grass to move this way and this way and back and forth so we have to use a particular axis we'll use a combine XYZ and connect it to the offset and now we'll only try the Z value but as you can see it's moving the whole grass up and down we want this part to not hover because this is supposed to be on the ground fix that use a parameter called spline parameter which will give us the length of this so use a node called vector math and connect the factor here and our this factor here. Now let's add a controller. So we'll use a value node and then we'll use a math node and setting it to multiply so that we can change the speed of the vehicle. So if we change it to 4D we can change the W value to animate it and connect this here and connect the value here. With this value we can multiply how fast and slow we want it to be and then for the value we'll type hash frame divided by 24 so that it keeps on animating. Don't have to use a vector math here we'll just use a basic multiplier and connect it back again. But as you can see we were expecting it to work but there is one issue that is making that not happen which is our grass has not been realized that they are grass. So we have to realize them that they are individual grasses. So use a realize instance node and now you can see the result. Well this is too bizarre. So we have to scale down the noise texture value. So let's set it to 0.2 for now. If you increase the multiplier they will move faster. The second motion we would love to add is a wind animation we can see on all of our grass. So for now let's adjust our scene a little bit, make the grass a little bit smaller as it's too large for me right now. So that we can have a proper view of our grass. I will add some more grass to our scene by changing this to a poison disc and changing this 3 max to something around 50 so that we can see more grass appearing. Right now the motion is looking so much rigid. What we can do is play around with the rotation right here. We'll add some same properties as this so you can just copy the same setup right here and use it in our rotation right here. The thing is we don't want this spline parameter right now. We can just continue with the current setup. So let's see what it looks like without this set position active. So we'll just press M to mute it. Now it doesn't look like anything much so we'll just press the hash frame divided by 24 again so that we can see something. Now it is animating on the wrong direction as you can see. This is not the direction we want so change it to X 
and now they are moving in the right direction so we have to adjust around to get the desired result now we want to see some wind wave kind of animation on the grass going on let's increase the grass even bit more so that we can see it properly the last thing you have to do is just uncheck the normalize so that we can see better result as you can see we can see wave of these grasses it is really nice if we go back to our original set position and unmute it we'll see different result if it's too bit too heavy you can reduce down the multiplier now if we look at from top it all looks straight we would like to make it so to give it some variations we'll use is the same noise texture system and plug it in the z value as you can see if you change the z value you can rotate around the grass if still the straight so if we plug in the noise texture we can give it some variation as you can see from the top now it looks like more natural as they are going in different direction and to make it even more fun what you can do is duplicate the same system and connect the w value and again type hash frame divided by 24 so that it moves left and right as well looking more like a grass now you'd be cautioning like if you want to rotate it on a different axis that is also kind of easy after this you can use a vector math node just plug it right here and you can change around the z value like here make it turn in any direction you would love to why not give it some random scale to our grasses because they all look the same height that is also really easy so instance on point has a scale factor as well so what you can do is use a random value and in this random value changes to vector of course because the scale value is also in vector connect it right here and we have some variations right now you can change around with the minimum value so i would like to place it something around here now comes a really crucial step where we have to give our grass a texture first we will give our grass some thickness we will use a node called curve to mesh for the profile we are of course going to use a curve line for now by default it will have a z value of 1 we don't want that we want the x value so let's set it to 0 0.04 and minus 0 0.04 should do for now to make that the tip of the grass very sharp for that we can use set curve radius click it click it there's nothing we can see right now to fix that again we will use the spline parameter as before to get that result instantly oops it's opposite so to fix it we can use a map range to invert the result of course so i will switch around the max and the min value so to get the desired result and now it looks in really really great with that done we have to now texture it we'll need to capture some data we'll use a capture attribute connect it right here and what we have to capture is again the spline parameter so with this capture attribute after our curve line we want to capture its x length which we have set it to 0.4 and minus 0.4 we will feed that data into store named attribute and our attribute will be uv and uvs are in vector so it to vector and then we'll use combine xyz and as this is our x value we'll connect it here and put the vector in now we just need the y value so after we have realized our instances what we can do is use again a capture attribute here and we can plug in the same spline parameter right here with that we can feed in this to the y and now we have the uvs all we have to do is now head to the shader editor switch it to shader editor but before we switch to shader editor we have to set material for it so we'll use a set material and assign it a new material for now set it to grass and we'll set grass here as well to apply the texture we'll simply use node called attribute so that we can bring in our uv map we'll use this uv copy this one and paste it right here and now we can use this and apply any texture to it for example if i bring in a image texture of a grass if you want the same texture i can provide it to you in the description and let's switch to the render view of ev we have to set up our texture properly so we'll use a mapping for that wait for me to set it up also to change around how the color looks I will use a hue saturation node just after our image texture so that I can change around with the hue of the grass. How real the grass looks now. Now you might be wondering where did I get this 
HDRI. So this is add-on which is called Blender Kit. Well, this is available for free and this is not a promotion by the way. Uh, so you can get so many models and, and things for free to try out. You can select the free first and you can get a lot of things. So for now, let's just add uh, anything like sword. So this is not a uh, scene setting up tutorial. This is just temporary thing. So let's also just set a depth of field on our camera and select this sword right here. And reduce down the depth of field so we can get a nice view some grasses are really flat and some at some angle they don't work out so that what you have to do is just replace this curve line with a arc so we have to just reduce down the resolution reduce the radius change around with this angle on of course on the camera make sure you change it on the camera you can change around the start angle and make it look thick but beware this will make your scene heavy to make it not heavy in your scene you have to reduce down the resolution and if you even if you want to make it more lighter so you can just reduce down the resolution as well of your initial bezier curve and that way you can even increase the grass in your scene and if you look at it around from different angle with because of this arc the grass are now more grassy they look thick and they are more real grass than before for example if you would like to have some kind of flower or create a pampas grass that is also really quite easy you can duplicate it you can just click on this icon so it doesn't affect the previous one first of all we have to reduce down the density for now i will set it to 10 let's just disable the previous one for our spline we want it to be uniform its stem is uniform throughout we want something at the top of this grass We'll use a node called instance on points and connect this to the instance on points. We'll connect it back to the joint geometry. So let's see what we are getting. We'll just use a cube for right now that we can see where are these instances appearing. So you can see it's appearing everywhere. Let's just scale that down. They are appearing at the every point of the curve. So now we only want them at the top of our grass. For that, we'll again use our spline parameter and connect it to the selection. To work, we'll use map range. Now, if we adjust around with the map range, as you can see, I'm changing around the minimum value. They are disappearing from the bottom. Set it to 0 0.99. Now, what you have to just do is replace them. Why would you want them to be a cube? You don't want them to be a cube like this, right? Let's just again go to our Blender Kit tool and get some flow for this one. We can use this one, I guess. Make sure that origin of that particular thing is at the bottom of it. Now what we have to just do is bring it in our geometry system, Pampas Twig, and connect it to the instances. We can change around the direction with the rotation value. To make it even more realistic as the other grass is, we can also modify with the rotation animation. We can use the same system as before for it as well. So let's just duplicate it and plug it in our rotation so that it also moves with the wind. And that way it will also look natural that these grasses are also moving. Let's suppose if we don't want to have uh, grass in some particular areas then what we can do so let's just take in our rock in the scene now what we can do is use a geometry proximity and plug this into the geometry and with the distance what we will do is use a math node and in this noise texture we will use the distance we set it to relative and also use a map range now we'll just plug into the multiply if you can dig around with this you can get desired result so wherever this rock is there will be no grasses if this tutorial was really good and helped give you some tip and was really helpful to you please do make sure to subscribe i know you can at least do some two clicks right right i'll uh, see you guys in the next video if you actually subscribed and see you in the next one bye bye